Thomas Spitter Swallow Beer Review Shag Dog, our Fall Toberfest. Doing a pumpkin ale called By the Great Divide. Great Divide Pumpkin Ale. It's got like the Headless Horseman on there. And on the can it says Brewed and Canned by Great Divide Brewing. Anything else on the can? No, nope, we've got some warning label. A little Great Divide red thing back there, which is always awesome. Uh, warning. I think that's it. Yeah, there's a can. A little tiny and bigger. We'll leave the tiny side up. Uh, Beer Advocate gives this one a 86. It is a pumpkin beer, pumpkin ale. Uh, it's ranked 118th of all the pumpkin beers on Beer Advocate. 6.5% ABV. Uh, Great Divide Brewing Company is out of a uh, great town of Denver, Colorado. And anything else? I'm sure it's seasonal. They don't say on Beer Advocate anymore. It just is active. I hate that. We should have said seasonal now. Because especially, okay, you know these type of beers, pumpkin ales, are probably seasonal. But Oktoberfest. Some breweries, Oktoberfest, are seasonal. Some breweries are all year long. They make the Oktoberfest. I believe Hacker Shore is all year long. I'm pretty sure. Um, any notes on this? Uh, no notes, I don't believe. Put on Beer Advocate. But Great Divide, we've had a couple beers by them over the years. Uh, what was it, a Sasquatch or whatever the heck it was called? That was pretty good stout. So hopefully this isn't too hopped up because I'm not sure if I can handle a pumpkin ale that's really hopped up. But we'll see. It doesn't say IBUs or anything on Beer Advocate. I'm not going to go searching. But this is my next to last pumpkin beer. I only got one more pumpkin beer. And surprisingly, a couple of them were pretty good. I'm hoping the same with this one. That's very dark. That's a nice dark pumpkin beer. That's what I like. Look at that, folks. Big head. Big head on that pumpkin, huh? Uh, wait for that head to go down a little bit. Nothing else on the can. You got a warning, warning, uh, content warning. According to Surgeon General, women should not drink alcohol beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Two, consumption of alcohol uh, beverages impairs the ability to drive. A car or operate machinery. Oh, that's true. I try to do stuff with my computer sometimes but when I'm doing beer reviews, and it's a little bit more difficult. All right, still got a three finger head going on that thing. Let's give it a sniffy while we're waiting for that head to go down. The look is a very dark, it's almost black, but if hold it up to the light, it does have some. Red hues in there, almost a kind of a really dark. I wouldn't say it's black, but a really dark brown with some uh, little red or mahogany hints in there. Looks nice. Get a little bit more beer. That a little, 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 little. yeah. They should call this Great Divide Headless Horseman, but they just called it Pumpkin. I don't know. Is there a way you can say the pumpkin hor a pumpkin horseman, right? Because he had a pumpkin on his head. He used this a pumpkin for his friggin' head. Because he was headless. There should be another way you can name him. The pumpkin head horseman. You know? Anyhow, yeah, let's give it a smell. Oh, anyhow, that last beer review, if you saw it, I usually we, we finish our beers on the beer review. I closed the video, I still had that much beer in my beer. On the glass, and then I forgot to pour it was a 16 ounce glass can. I forgot to pour the rest of the beer in there, so I did it off camera. I apologize. Subscribe, comment, like you know the deal. This definitely has a pumpkin smell, definitely some allspice in there, cinnamon, probably more than I like. But I'm hoping that pumpkin, because sometimes you smell it and you get these smells, but the flavor, either, it'll be one or, one or two. You get the pumpkin 
all spice smell and all that. And then when you taste it, one of them is going to be way more prevalent. And I'm hoping it's the pumpkin's more prevalent. Because that's why I like it. A pumpkin ale is pumpkin, not allspice. You want to make a super duper allspice pumpkin ale? Call it allspice ale, please. All right, let's drink it. Deep breath. Hope for the best. I think it's balanced pretty well, which I mean, I hate allspice, but I think it's well balanced between the allspice and the pumpkin. It's not overwhelming. On one. I like the pumpkin more, don't get me wrong, but I think it's pretty even where I hate allspice, but there's enough pumpkin there to kind of tame that allspice. I can taste it, don't like it, but the pumpkin is, the Headless Horseman pumpkin guy is, Taming that allspice. Kind of like it's Ichabod Crane's the allspice. The pumpkin is the headless horseman. And he's chasing that allspice down. It's not bad. I mean, I could use a little bit more pumpkin in there. But I think it's well balanced. A lot of people, I read notes on this one when I, when I first bought it. And a lot of people said it was unbalanced, blah, blah, blah. I think it's well balanced. My own opinion, of course. I think it's nice. It's kind of... It's kind of reminiscent of one of those Elysian pumpkins I did with Jammer, like last year or two, year, two years ago. But it's not like way, because those Elysians were way off balance, I thought. And this is well balanced, not too overwhelming on anything. I think it's nice. I like the Great Divide Pumpkin Ale. Yeah, pretty good. Yep, yep. Yeah, definitely a cinnamon, allspice, maybe a little nutmeg. Nutmeg is one of those flavors I really can't pick up unless it's by itself, you know. There might be a little nutmeg in there. Allspice, cinnamon. Maybe even a little. Maybe it's just all that with the pumpkin. I'm almost picking up a, like a slight, slight, slight. Vanilla, but I might be wrong. But it's pretty good. Now, I couldn't drink a bunch of these because it's already messing with my belly a little bit, whatever is in this great divide. It's dividing my belly into four sections like a cow. Um, but isn't that something? In my last video, if you watched it, I talked about how divided America is. And this brewing company is called the Great Divide. Or Great Divide Brewing. And, of course, they probably mean the, it's the Rockies, Colorado, Great Divide. But unbeknownst to the people who call it the Colorado Rockies, the Great Divide Brewing Company, Great Divide, named after the Rocky Mountains, nickname. Of the, nobody knew America would be in a Great Divide. Well, some people did. There was... Uh, certain pastors that read Bible prophecy and stuff like that who said there's certain things are going to happen in America and they're coming to be which is really weird this is one guy I used to watch and it's getting close to some things he said this is back in like the late 80s and early 90s and he said that some of these things would happen so now a lot of people like to say that January oh I'm not supposed to talk politics okay Cheers. Get hair from my mustache in my mouth. Not good. I, if I could move my camera and not have to worry about readjusting it, I'd show you my little dog over here sleeping. She's a 15-year-old uh, little puppy, huh? Yeah. A 15-year-old Bashan. 
but she acts like a puppy sometimes. She's fast still. She moves fast, but she does sleep a lot. Uh, yeah, she's a special girl. Special girl. Anyhow. I'm getting buzzed off three beers and lack of sleep. Anyhow. Ugh. Jammer's missing out. On you. Let's send Jammer a message. He's probably sleeping anyhow because I think he worked last night and got off at four in the morning. Poor Jammer. I mean, he can't do beer reviews like he used to. Oh, I lost my shit. All right, let's send him a voice message. Hey, Jammer, Shag Dog, doing some beer reviews. Uh, three great beers so far. You would have enjoyed them. Uh, I know two of them you might have found in your area. One of them, probably not, it's a South Carolina beer. It's only got three ratings on uh, Beer Advocate, so you might not have found that one. But the other two, one by Great Divide Pumpkin, and the other one was the Brooklyn Oktoberfest. And you missed out. And I did a great job in those videos. And this one, too. All right, you take care, buddy. Happy Fall Toberfest. All right, Jammer will enjoy that. Maybe we should send Jammer fan a voice message, too. But that's probably... Let's check with Jammer fan. Hey, Jammer fan, it's Shag Dog. I'm doing a beer review, review right now. <laughs> uh, Great Divides Pumpkin. Uh, it's pretty good. Not not bad at all. I like it. Hope you're doing well. Hope to see you in December doing some winter beers with us. All right. He might message us back. If he does, I'll play it. Tell them to. If you message back, I'll play it on the video. So he doesn't say anything offensive where I have to edit it out later. Oh, these hairs are getting bad on this mustache today. I'm going to go ahead and grade this. I like it. I wish there was a little bit more pumpkin in there, but there's something weird in it. It's dark. It reminds me a little bit of the, like the some of the Elysian pumpkins, but not overwhelming like they were. But it's pretty good. I wouldn't be able to drink a lot of these, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a another one. B plus, but a swallow in a quarter. Swarter, swallow in a swarter, 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 swallow in a quarter. Yeah. That's the sword. Damn it. I'm going to trim this mustache. Uh, rugby. Got to come up with a new thing for burping because we used to do rugby. I guess it killed me. We used to do rugby all the time. That's when rugby used to come out. And everybody, hey, I'm rugby721. And every time you burp, just say my name. I'm number one supporter of whatever beer on YouTube. So we started doing it. I got in the habit of doing it. Even when I was at the bar all the time, I'd be like burping and like rugby. And people would look at me, what the hell? Well, oh, there's this guy on YouTube and I had to explain it. And I'm still doing it. Even when I burp and I'm not drinking, I go rugby. Well, fuck rugby. You got me in the habit of doing that. I don't even know who you are. I haven't, you haven't commented on one of our videos in years. But I'm still praising your name. For now on, I'm going to burp and say Jesus, I think. Anyhow, great beer. i got to finish the beer, though, on this one. The last time I screwed up and closed the video out without finishing the beer, which we're supposed to finish the beer on the video. And the reason is, is we think some people, well, some people, if they have a bad beer, they might pour it out. Who knows? If they have a beer. A lot of people do beer reviews and they drink three, four, five sips. And they close the video. How we know when they're not dumping that beer out the drain? And we don't do that. We finish our beer. There's been a lot of beers I hate that when I did beer reviews with Jammer. And 
he would force me, you know, you got to finish that beer. And I'd have to finish it. There was two or three beers back in the day I might not have finished, maybe four or five. But ever since then, I make it a challenge to finish that beer, even if I really hate that beer. i got to finish it. Now, there was a couple Christmas beers that he bought a couple years ago. There was one of them, I forget what the hell it was, but I couldn't finish that. I was about to puke drinking that shit. But, you know. Anyhow. Uh, so, Ichabod Crane, huh? Anybody remember the cartoon back, I think it might have been a 70s cartoon. It was actually a, the Headless Horseman, Ichabod Crane, some type of cartoon. It was pretty, I haven't seen it since early to mid 80s. They actually showed it at school one time. I was probably in fourth grade. That's probably the last time I've seen it. So that had to be like 82, 82, 83. Last time I saw it, it was a cartoon about the Headless Horseman, Ichabod Crane. I wonder if that's still out there. I don't even know what the hell it's called. I'll have to look that up. Uh, but what, what about the movie? Was, was Johnny Depp in that movie? He was thinking about Crane, right? Johnny Depp, I believe. That was a pretty good movie, I thought. It was, uh, what's his name? Was the Headless Horseman, uh, Christopher Walken, yeah. I, I, I can't even do Christopher Walken, so don't ask me. be a tough one to edit. I'm at like 17 minutes right now. Hopefully I can edit a little bit out and break down on the 12, but probably won't because there's so much damn good stuff in it. Oh, the night of, uh, life of a night shifter. Fly with me if I was a judge. Happy Fall Toberfest. God, I'm going on a rampage today, huh? Anyhow, if you can find this one, get it. Great Divide Pumpkin Ale. And there's the bigger, the bigger horsemen, like the ones that take it in Mexico, right? Uh, that's a donkey, actually, but. The Headless Donkey Man. The, the Headless Donkey Man, right? Jesus, help me. Anyhow, we'll see you in the next one. I got one more beer review to do. And I think that's going to be it for today. We'll see you on the next Bitter Swallow Beer Review.